So this video is a review of The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Marie Kondo. Ah, this book is awesome. It's fantastic. Here's why I love it. I gave it a four and a half out of five stars. And actually, maybe I'll start off with why it lost that half star. Um, the only reason is because as small as this book is, it could actually be half this size. The author repeats herself quite a bit. So there's a bunch of stuff that if she only said it once, whoop, this would have gotten smaller. But read this book from cover to cover. And the reason for it, there is so much good information in here. So even when she does repeat herself, there's these little golden nuggets still tucked in there. It's worth reading every single page. The reason I love this book so much, there's so many resources out there about cleaning and tidying and organizing, but almost every single one of them is all about, here's all your crap, and now it's organized crap. Yay! But your house is still full of crap. This book is taking a look at, should the stuff that's in your house even be there in the first place? I've always loved the idea of distilling my stuff. I've always gotten rid of tons of things so that I was happy with what I had in my house. But this book actually focuses a lot more on do the things in your home bring you joy. And that can sound a little bit fruity at first. It's so worth doing. And here's why. Ultimately, this woman knows her psychology. She knows why she's asking you to do the things that you're doing and why you're doing them in that order. And so if you actually follow these steps, there's opportunity for personal breakthrough. So not only was your house actually cleaner and tidier by the end, you know so much more about yourself and to the degree that you could actually have a massive breakthrough and realize more about who you are personally, what direction you want your career to be going in, an area that, oh, this is a relationship that I need to fix, whatever it is. The act of going through your things physically holding them and going, does this bring me joy? Does this bring me joy? Does this bring me joy? Over and over and over again. It's intense. And because you had to ask yourself so many times, you start picking up on patterns and you start realizing more about who you are. Um, that's a little bit crazy of an experience to have just from cleaning your house. So here's the thing. Uh, my husband and I, we started with step one. Step one is your clothing. You take everything that you have, whether it was in the laundry room, your closet, it was in the hall closet downstairs, like whatever it was. Um, you take all those different things, you make a pile, you handle each item. In the end, we had 12 bags, 12 bags of stuff that we got rid of. And I, I didn't think we even had 12 bags of clothing, let alone 12 bags that we could bundle up and give to the thrift store and still have comfortably full closets and dresser drawers. So I am so excited about finishing the rest of this process. Um, if you're taking a look at doing this, you might want to either just be prepared that, okay, you know, set aside an entire afternoon or an entire day to do one category. And there's multiple categories to go through, you know, cause you've got clothing and you've got books and you've got kitchen utensils. She'll tell you exactly what order to do things in. Follow the order, listen to this woman, she knows what she's talking about. Um, and if you really just wanna get her done and treat it like a personal retreat of, oh my goodness, you know, I want that life-changing breakthrough, um, I wanna focus on this, take a cleaning vacation, take an organizing vacation, book a week off and just spend it doing this. Um, I, I can highly recommend it. So I'm so excited about the sort of insights and revelations I've already had from organizing my clothes. Uh, so please buy the book, read it cover to cover, and try it out. This book is awesome. Enjoy.